What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video. Today, real quick, I wanna share with you guys my Intel Coffee Lake i5-9400 build. Now, the reason I'm working on this build and I still didn't finish this build because I'm gonna compare this build with my upcoming Apple Mac Mini M1 base model 2020. And I wanna see how well this build uh, performed uh, compared to Apple M1 chip. Now I know for a fact Apple M1 chip is a beast because I see a lot of tests on uh, YouTube uh, and I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit excited. But I kinda got a crazy deal on Apple uh, M1, the base model Mac Mini. Uh, I purchased that Mac Mini from uh, BH uh, Video and Photo BNH for around $639 and I had a Paybu a card from BNH so I actually didn't have to pay tax so it was a pretty good deal now i want to compare uh, mac mini m1 with my amd ryzen 5 3600 build also and i want to see how apple m1 mac mini uh, you know stack up compared to my ryzen 5 3600 build and i5 9400 uh, build now today real quick i want to show you guys how well these intel coffee lake i5 9400 uh, build perform again. I'm sorry. I didn't put this build in a case because basically I'm prepping both of these build just for testing purpose now if you guys want a step-by-step -step, uh, Mac OS big Sur open core guide, please give this video a thumbs up and if you are watching me for the first time Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned at this very moment You can pick up these Intel CPUs for really really good Good price like you can literally pick up this i5-9400 CPU I believe for $150 yes the CPU comes with a uh, 6 core there is no hyper threading but you also have Intel HD 630 integrated graphics and integrated graphics works really well with uh, H.264 codec so if you're using Final Cut Pro like I do your export time will be better if you combine Intel HD 630 graphics with let's put this way amd uh, rx 470 graphics card i'm using right now you can pick up this card for literally like 80 to 90 dollars now before you jump into the benchmark part let me just give you guys quick specs rundown so for testing purpose i'm using my gamdios astra uh, p1 750 gold rated power supply you can go with cheaper power supply like evg 500 watt 80 plus bronze power supply you don't need a, a gold rated power supply and the motherboard we have here msi h310m pro dash m2 plus it's the matx motherboard uh the cpu we have here intel core i5 9400 cpu does come with intel hd 630 integrated graphics and i'm using the intel stock uh fan and also the graphics card we are using xfx radeon rx uh, 470 4 gig variant you can pick up this card from ebay used like 80 to 90 dollars and we are using m.2 uh we have here uh inland 128 gig uh nvme ssd so guys let's jump in okay let's start with final card pro h.264 export time for this test i'm using footage from my Panasonic Lumix GX85 4K 8-bit 8-minute video so with just the AMD RX 470 4 gig graphics card the export time was 18 minute and 4 second now with just the Intel UHD 630 graphics the export time was around 12 minute and 58 second for the last test I combined the RX 470 graphics plus Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics and the export time was really good as you guys can see 5 minute and 38 second now why I'm showing you guys this test because last week I believe I received three or four email and uh, basically you guys were asking me about if you should go with Intel Core i5 9400 CPU or 9400 F CPU now the only difference between the 9400 and the 9400F, the F doesn't come with Intel UHD uh, 630 integrated graphics. And the regular i5-9400, the one I'm using, this one comes with Intel UHD 630 graphics. Now does 
uh, the USG 630 graphics make huge difference? Yes, it does. If you're planning on exporting your video with, let's be to say, H.264 codec, if you're planning on, let's be to say, exporting your video with like ProRes or anything, then you really don't have to worry. Now, this benchmark is strictly for people who is planning on building a Hackintosh with Intel uh, CPUs. All right, so let's jump into the next test. So I ran Novavent test first with the RX uh, 480 graphics card. So the score we got 1882 and the CPU score was 761, the GPU score was 795, and our RAM score was 229, and also uh, the disk score was 97. Now I ran this test again without the RX 470 graphics card. And the only difference you will see here, GPU score, so the GPU score was lower, it was around uh, 187, Total score was 1273. If we move into Luxmark right here. So now let me tell you guys, I try to run the Luxmark test with CPU and GPU combined. Uh, for some reason, uh, Luxmark was keep on crashing, like crashed like three or four times, then I gave up. And then I just ran uh, the test with the RX uh, 470 graphics card. And the score we got around 12,450. Now let's move on and let's look at the Cinevent R23 score. So the CPU multi-core score was 5,975 PTS and the CPU single core score was 1,057 PTS. So not so bad. Now let's look at Geekbench 5 score here. Okay. Now you guys can see the single core score was uh, 1034 and the multi-core score was around 5099 so the single core score is not so bad now if we compare this score with apple uh, mac mini m1 version apple mac mini a uh, single core score is around 1687 and the multi-core score is around 7433 so yes, Mac mini does have really good single core score. Now let's move on and let's look at the Geekbench 5 OpenCL score, 39,676. And the Metal score, 42,249. All right guys, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for uh, Mac Mini M1 versus my uh, Intel Coffee Lake build versus my uh, AMD Ryzen uh, 5 3600 build. And also, if you guys um, want me to make uh, Intel Coffee Lake step-by-step uh, -step Mac OS Big Sur guide, then please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe and stay tuned. See you guys next one. Peace.